The observable universe, basically the place we can actually see, is a ginormous place. More than 13 billion years has passed its life. Do you know how many galaxies are in the observable universe? More than 2 trillion galaxies. Galaxies like the Milky Way, that is our own galaxy, is way smaller than most of them. You guys remember, it's 2 trillion galaxies. In each of those galaxies, there are billions of stars. This is the small one. There are even more giant galaxies, just like IC1101, which we've made a video about. In that galaxy, there are trillions of stars. Our calculator is smoking currently. What about yours? If you don't want our head to explode, let's go inside our own little galaxy, the Milky Way. Just like we said, compared to other galaxies, this is nothing. But this tiny spot in the universe has over 40 billion planets that are Earth-like and there could be life on there. This is the Milky Way that we can see from Earth. It looks giant, doesn't it? But that's for us. In the universe, it's nothing. What we're trying to say is that this giant to us galaxy with all these planets, it's hard to believe that we won't find life in this little galaxy. When we're talking about a place this big, is there a way that there's nothing left? Humans have been on the planet for a long time, but civilization has been around for about 6,000 years. For a human, 6,000 years is a long time, but in a place like the universe, it doesn't even matter. Just like we said, the universe is more than 13 billion years old. So if our civilization has shaped in this such a short time, what about the other 40 billion planets in the Milky Way? A lot of people believe that there is no way. This extremely long time and the amount of planet, is there any way nothing was created? There's a high chance that they're there, but we don't know how to see them. How do they look? How can we find them? And a lot of other questions. If we look like this on Earth, there might be another planet that has weirder looking species. The looks that we don't even know how it exists. But the rules of the universe should make a lot of things the same. Like for example, they also need energy. Or they live with gravity. The first energy we had access to was our own strength. After, it was fire, and it's an extremely usable energy. Then we realized we could use wind energy. Or water energy. Then we found fossil fuels, which was another revolution. And it literally caused the industrial revolution. From the 1800s to 2015, Earth's population has multiplied by 7, but the energy it has access to has multiplied by 25. And this is never stopping. Day by day, we find new ways to find new energy. This is where we get to the Kardashev scale. This is basically a scale to put different civilization in different divisions. Right now, they have four different types of civilization. A type one civilization can use all the energy in its home planet. Type two, not only can it use all the energy of its own planet, it could use the energy of its own star. Don't even talk about the type three civilization. These guys, can harvest the energy of an entire galaxy. 
Type 4 is unbelievable. They can harvest the energy of multiple galaxies. If you want to compare the different types, it's like comparing an ant with a human. Just keep going up and up with a difference this big. But the main question is, how can we find these civilizations? We can't find them with radio signal because they've only gotten 200 light years away. And after that, we don't have any radio signals in space. You guys know 200 light years is nothing, but that's in the scale of the universe. Our own galaxy, which is considered a small medium galaxy, is 100,000 light years itself. So 200 light years is nothing. So where is humans on the Kardashev scale? Humans have not gotten to type 1 yet. Like we said, type 1 uses all the energy of its own home planet. But right now us humans have access to only 75% of our energy. They predict that in the next 100 years, if somehow we don't kill ourselves, we will reach a type 1 civilization. Basically, this is going to be a huge milestone for humans. When we get to type 1 civilization, we're obviously not going to be satisfied because humans can't stop somewhere. We have to do something to get to type 2 civilization. To get to type 2, we have to civilize planets like Mars and start creating mines on different asteroids. If you've seen our video on Unten Inc about the first trillionaire, we explain how humans will be harvesting stuff from asteroids. Even if we do all of this, there's no guarantee we'll get to type 2 civilization. To get to type 2, we have to do the most important thing. We have to harvest the entire energy of the sun. Without doing this, we're not going to pass the type 2 civilization. So how can we harvest the entire energy of the sun? Harvesting the energy of a star is not that easy. There's a theory called the Dyson Sphere, and it's just an idea. And it's pretty much unbelievable with what we know today. Let's imagine we do all of this and we reach the Type 2 civilization. Even reaching Type 2 is a dream for us. But we're gonna imagine we reach the Type 2 civilization and we're trying to reach Type 3. What do we have to do? We really don't know. Because to do that, we have to have every star in the galaxy in our hands and collect the energy from all of them. In that case, we could be a Type 3 civilization. This is all talk. How can we even go up the scale? We're still stuck in the first one. Not only can we harvest the energy of our sun, we're trying to harvest all of the stars in the Milky Way. The next star to us is four light years away. Can we go there? Not yet. Our knowledge hasn't reached number one yet, but there's a lot of things that could help us get to the next type and help us reach the type 1 civilization faster. There might be inventions, discovery, find a new rule of physics that could help us reach the higher types of civilization. There is type 3, 4, five civilizations and even higher and this shows the civilizations are so advanced and how much higher they are than us like scientists say a type 5 civilization controls thousands of galaxies 
My head is smoking because it's kind of scary as well. Just imagine a type 5 civilization and how they look like. How do you think they will look? Are they invisible or can we see them? But what we know is that these civilizations are not in the Milky Way because if they were here, we would probably see them. But there's a chance that there's a type 2 civilization in the Milky Way. These are civilizations that could harvest the energy of their star. But they're type 2 civilization. If there were a type 3, we would for sure see them because they would need the energy from our star and we would have noticed. But we have to know this, that we still don't know anything. If we look there or here, we just started. James Webb launched two months ago and it's just adjusting its lens. Human civilization compared to the entire universe is so new that it doesn't even count. Comparing human civilization to Earth is not even doable. Imagine comparing it to the universe. So we're still very new. We might figure it out and reach the tippy top. We will get there, but when, we don't know.